Yo, what up, Grind Time Nation? Welcome back to the next episode of Grind Time TV. I am Coach Alex, Morocco pronounced just like the country, spelled absolutely nothing like it. You know, one third, right? This fact this weekend is pretty interesting. One third of sports injuries, more than one third actually, I think it was 37% occur at your knee joint, all right? More than one third of all sport injuries, and I guarantee you it's higher in the game of basketball, occur at your knees, all right? We gotta make sure that we protect those knees. Now, April, you know, is knee season for basketball players, right? You know, like there's a certain time of the month that's like, you know, duck hunting season or deer season for people who hunt. I don't hunt, I don't really know about it, but I know that they have their seasons, right? April is knee season for basketball players. All right, look, you got more games coming up. You got AAU, um, you know, you're back in your training after the school season ended, so you're really pumped. You really get into this off season. You're going hard in the weight room. Like I said, you got AAU, you're traveling a lot. You got a lot going on and all this extra wear and tear on your knees and all these extra games and practice sessions and training sessions, well, all of it adds up into one big pile of stress on your knee joints. Now, if you're ready for it, if your body's ready to handle it, if your knees are ready to handle it, then you're gonna be fine. However, if they're not ready, if they're not prepared for this extra overload that's gonna be coming at it, well then you are very much in danger at possibly hurting one of your knees. And that could be just a, an overuse injury, that could be like a freak injury, something really bad, knock on wood, doesn't happen to you, but like a tear, an ACL tear, an MCL tear, an LCL tear, there's all kinds of things you can tear in that knee joint. And I wanna make sure that you are taking care of your knees. So in April, we're gonna be talking a lot about protecting your knees, all right? So you know, in light of that and this being April and knee season, I've been reviewing um, this. I actually got it on my desk here for you. Bulletproof Knees, all right? It's from Mike Robertson. It is probably the best resource for guaranteeing that your knees stay perfectly healthy, not just in April and May and in June and July and you know next season, but for the rest of your life, not just even your basketball career, for the rest of your life, all right? This is like the start to finish resource I've seen. It is, um, you know, I didn't know how good it was gonna be coming in, especially for like you guys out there who don't necessarily have like, an, you know, twice I've done that. Smarten up, Alex. All right, um, who don't have like anatomical backgrounds or don't necessarily understand all those things, but I think any basketball player 100% should know everything in this manual. It will keep your knees bulletproof. That's why it's called, it's called bulletproof knees. Um, for the rest of, like I said, not your career, but your life. All right, so I'm actually talking to Mike Robertson right now. He's a really well-known trainer, works with a lot of pro athletes, including basketball players um, out of Indiana. Talking to him right now to see if I can get like some you know, major discount on this resource for you so you guys can you know, get hooked up with it at a cheaper price for being Alex Morocco basketball viewers or Grind Time TV viewers. All right, so I'm gonna let you know on that. I'm talking to him right now, see if I can hook you up with that. But I wanna help you out right now too. So one of the things that I picked up from this book that I've talked about before is that a lot of chronic knee injuries, all right? The ones that happen, you know, maybe it's, it's not like a serious tear or anything like that, but it's something where every time you go to play, like you get some type of anterior knee pain or it just kind of hurts or doesn't feel that good. And then you get warmed up and you know, the juices start flowing and you feel better and you play and you're fine. And then after, when you're done, you know, when you're just hanging out at home a couple hours after you played or, or worked out or whatever, your knees start to hurt again, they start to freeze up. Um, if you ever deal with anything like that, it's very, very likely that the injury that you have is related to something called myofascial dysfunction, which basically means that the fascia surrounding your muscles and around your knees and your, and your legs and your thighs and everything is actually, it's dysfunctioned. You know, it's got some scar tissue built up. It's not how it should be. It's not how it naturally is supposed to be. So what you wanna do to help that dysfunction, because once you kind of work those kinks out and you get the, the fascia surrounding all your tendons and muscles and everything, you know, flowing right and everything's even out the way it should be, the joint pain or the knee pain, it goes away, all right? So the best way to do that, to break up that fashion to get it right, is with something called a foam roller. You can Google it online, you know, foam roller, it'll come up, it's cheap, it's like 10 or 20 bucks, you probably might have one at your gym. I actually, apparently I keep one under my office desk at all times. This is what it looks like. Um, this is actually a special one, I think it's called a rumble roller that I got from Charles Staley, this is a pretty cool one. But the foam rollers, you'll see them, they look like this, except they are just flat. They don't actually have all these spikes sticking out of it. This is a little more intense, you know, you might not be on that level yet. But um, 
get a foam roller, start working out your quadriceps, your IT band, your, you know, your butt, your hamstrings, your calves, your soleus muscles, even get like a lacrosse ball and work out or a golf ball and you can work out the fascia on your feet. But once you really work out that fascia surrounding all those muscles or surrounding all those joints, you will start feeling better. All right, now in Bulletproof Knees, he gives you a step-by-step -step program to go from start to finish for guaranteeing your knees really never get injured. But foam rolling is a big part of it as well. So you may as well get started on it right now. All right, so tomorrow morning, Grind Time TV, we're gonna be back with a recent unguardable player who was shocked, I mean shocked, at the ease a certain unguardable move worked for him over and over and over and over again. All right, so we're gonna talk about that tomorrow morning. Don't miss that, it's gonna be a fun time. I will see you then, but until then, stay Grind Time. Peace.